Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Lauren, and in this video, I'm gonna review Honey Love Shapewear. So if you're curious about their products, then you're gonna like this video because I go through basically all of their products. I first found Honey Love when I bought this white sweater dress, and it was really form-fitting, and it highlighted every single area of my body that I did not wanna highlight, but it's so cute that I had to figure out something that would work. So as far as shapewear went, all I really had was like these shaper shorts. And they're super comfortable and like lightweight, but they would roll up at the bottom and they really just didn't do much. They would kind of hide some areas, but it wasn't enough. And then I got lipo and I, well, I should say I had botched liposuction and I found that these didn't really smooth out those new bumps that I acquired from the botched surgery. So like I have this new weird hip indent and it like went out at my hip and then in and then out at my thigh, but mostly on my right side. And it was just like, things didn't fit me the same anymore. So I don't, it was just frustrating. I never really wanted to wear the tight shapewear because they're usually really uncomfortable. And then when I would try them on, I found that they looked really obvious under the clothes I was wearing and like you could see the rolls in them and I don't know, I would try them on in the store and I would just never pull the trigger on buying them because they were expensive and they just weren't that comfortable and I knew I would never really wear it. So it has been a few years since I looked up any shapewear and I was determined to make this white dress work for me and during my research is when I found Honey Love. I was so intrigued by Honey Love that I ended up ordering quite a few of their styles because I was like, okay, well here's shorts and then here's a thong and then here's like the brief ones and then the bra. And I'm like, if this could help fix all those lumps and bumps that I have now, then okay, like I will wear this if it's comfortable. So I got basically everything, and in this video, I'm gonna review them all for you. So I'm gonna show you what they look like without clothes, with clothes, and I'll share my final thoughts on each piece. First, I'm gonna share a few unique things that I learned about Honey Love because I just think that this will help you make your decision, but they really don't roll down. So they have these, like structures in them. You can see that's kind of stiff. And every product has that. It's basically their version of boning, like in a corset from back in the day, but it's way more comfortable and bendable. So these are hidden in the seams to hold the garment up without needing any of that rubber that a lot of shapewear has or those bra straps to like give you that additional support. They do come with the bra straps. So each set comes with these little bra straps if you want them, but you don't really need them. They really do stay up very well. They also make me sit up straighter. So when I wear them, I find that I have better posture. So I feel like that's just an added perk of wearing Honey Love. Another thing I like is that they don't rely on that rubber that a lot of the brands have because the boning really holds it up. So if you're sensitive to rubber, then you'll probably love these. Something I didn't realize is that there's a difference between shapewear and sculpt wear. And those elastic shorts that I used to wear are really just considered a light shapewear. They have basically the same level of compression all over and they squeeze every area of my body uniformly. But Honey Love has compression panels in them. So I don't know if you can even see through this, but like there's mesh on the side and then in the front, it just gets a lot stronger. Let me show you on this guy. Let's see if we can see the X's. Can you see that? So this is like extra compression right here. And they're strategically placed to apply more compression through places like your tummy and your upper thigh area where you want the added support. But then they taper off in areas where you want to breathe more or move like through your rib cage or like down by the bottom of your legs. This is one thing I always would struggle with, with trying on the shorts. And even like the biker short trend that's happening today, I don't wear biker shorts because they just really accentuate that knee fat that I didn't even know that I had. So that's one thing I really like about the shorts and I'll show you what they look like on and what I'm talking about, but they have this mesh panel that just, it's so flattering. It's not like that shapewear where it gets tighter around the knee or like your thigh area. And then you can see it if your dress goes down further or if you're wearing them under pants and it's like like a panty line, but around your thigh. It's so weird. These don't do that to me. Something else I really like about Honey Love is all of their sizes go from extra small to 3X. 
So that's a huge range. I'm a large, I usually wear a size eight to 10 or a 29 inch waist and then I'm a 36 C for my bra. And I wear a size large. I probably could do like medium large and it would fly, but I love that they have extra small all the way up to 3X. So you can find something that will fit you. Something else I never knew about shapewear is you're meant to wear them without undergarments. And I did not know that, but that's cool to know. So if you get one like the shorts, they have that gusset and the crotch area so you can go to the restroom really easily and everything's machine washable so you're wearing them without underwear you're sweating in them it's not gross you can just wash them throw them in the machine they come with this garment bag that you can wash them in or you can just hand wash them and then lay them out flat to dry and you're good to go it's not going to damage them and you don't have to like dry clean your undergarments <laughs> which is good I love a good return policy and Honey Love lets you return anything within 30 days for a full refund or you can exchange. So if you try it on at home and it's the wrong size, you can return it and get your money back, which I love that. Okay, now let's get into the undergarments. So first is the Queen Brief and this is $84. So this has medium compression for natural smoothing and it has what they call the Power Mesh Brief. So this helps smooth your booty like all of those little dimples that we get, but it's so comfortable. So the back has this ruching and then the side has the boning structures in them. And it's just super breathable. And this would be great if you're wearing a dress that has a slit up the side, but you still wanna hide the cellulite in your butt, but you wanna show off your leg. This would be a really great option. So I'm gonna be honest with you here. I tried these on in my mirror and it's definitely a different view than when you film yourself on camera. I actually did not like how this looked on camera and I found that it gave me a panty line, but it is it is comfortable. I feel like it doesn't really do much for my stomach and it does accentuate that hip indent that I mentioned earlier. So out of all of the shapewear I tried on in this video, this one is not my favorite. So this is that white dress that I mentioned and this shapewear gave me back fat rolls because it goes up and it squeezes the fat out the top. So that wasn't very fun to look at, but it also didn't really do much for my stomach. I decided to try it on with a different tight dress and it really isn't flattering at all. It's squeezing my hips weird and I feel like it didn't compress my stomach very well. So I would skip this one. Next is the Super Power Brief. So the Super Power Brief has more targeted compression. It uses those panels on the inside that really shape your stomach and your waist, and then it releases everywhere else. So the Super Power line is Honey Love's most compressing line. If you see anything that says Super Power, that's gonna be like that hourglass shape that holds you in. This is $84, and it's basically the Queen Brief, so it's the same shape. But then it has that additional X band in the front that the Queen Brief doesn't have, but it does have those boning structures on the side. So this one definitely sucks you in more. I look way better in this. I look skinnier and it works, but look at how it's squeezing my back fat. I mean, this is ridiculous. <laughs> I would never wear it just for that reason. And then also from the side. So it does accentuate that hip bump that I mentioned earlier. I just think where the brief cuts down is really not a flattering point and it, I don't see that being flattering on many people. So here it is with that same dress from earlier and it does slim you but it's accentuating that hip bump and I feel like my stomach doesn't look that great in it. And then of course the back fat squeezing out the top, I mean, <laughs> it's just not cute. Next is the Superpower Short. So this is $89 and this is Honey Love's very first product that they launched, I guess. It's basically the same as the Superpower Brief, but it has the shorts and then it has the cotton gusset, so you don't have to take the whole thing off if you're using the restroom. And then it has that targeted X compression in the front, shapes your waist, and it also has this booty band in the back that lifts your booty and it smooths out like the saddlebag and that lower banana roll area. I also love how the mesh doesn't dig into my leg so you can see through the mesh here but it just it blends in with your leg it's really really cool the inside does dig in a little bit but no one really sees that part but the outside is where it matters and it doesn't dig in there so 
I'm very impressed by this. I also like it for those hot summer days when you're wearing a dress and you might experience shaping between your thighs. This would prevent that from happening. So I like the shape that this gives me. I feel like it hides that hip indent. The leg fat not being squeezed is great, but you can't see my banana roll still. And the back fat is just ridiculous. I'm actually wearing the Honey Love bra and it's not helping. All right, now the superpower thong. So this is probably my favorite item from Honey Love that I got. It's $79 that has the same level of compression and boning as the superpower short but it comes with a thong bottom and I prefer that because even though I do have cellulite, I find that I'd rather have my cellulite show than a panty line show. And the super power brief and the queen brief do give me a panty line just because my butt is so round, it just shows. So I do love the thong option. I also find this one to be the most flattering on me. Doesn't this one just look great? I think it's the most comfortable and it doesn't make my hip indent look more obvious. I also like where the thong part hits along my butt, but I still have that back fat sticking out. And it also is pushing the fat underneath my ribs like out a little bit. So you can see it here in the dress. It just looks like my bra is too tight, but there I am with the back fat roll again. So I just, I mean, what can you do? You're squeezing fat, it's gotta go somewhere. It's just unfortunate. But this one definitely is my favorite. And I think if I could find a better shaping bra, it would definitely work. One thing I've always really struggled with is my bra fat area in the back and I had lipo and I tried to have it removed but that left me with loose saggy skin in the back and fat and I would always struggle with concealing that when I was trying on the sculpt wear bottoms because they're just so tight all the way up to your bra fat and then your fat just hangs over. So what I ended up doing, where's the bra? So I ended up ordering the Invisible Lift bra. This is the V-neck bra to see if it helps smooth that area, especially when I wear it with the compression garments. Also one of the most comfortable bras I've ever worn. So this is $64. It comes in eight colors and it goes from size extra small to 3X. I have a large and again, I'm a 36C. My only issue with this bra is it would really only work under t-shirts with like a higher neck or sweaters or anything that's not super low cut. And I wish it had smaller straps just so I could wear it with anything. But I understand why they don't because these are supposed to be really comfortable and especially if you have a larger chest than me and sometimes bra straps can dig in. So I understand that. I just, it, I can't wear it, especially in the summer with like a lot of dresses because it goes up so high and the straps are too thick. Another thing is I don't really love that it has these like removable cups because they don't completely hide my nipples. It's not thick enough for me. They're, they're pretty thick, but my nipples get really hard. That's way too much information, but what I end up wearing is like these little nippy things that cover them and then I, I would have to wear these with all my sports bras too just because my nipples could cut glass. It's there a lot. So if you don't have super hard nipples, you probably would need to get these, but just be aware of that. Another thing is I haven't washed this yet and I wonder if this is going to get all bunchy and weird when I wash it. I just, I wish they would have bras that had them built in because even with sports bras, they move around and it's just frustrating. I mean, I guess some people love them because every sports bra on the planet has them. <laughs> so I don't know, but those are like the only things I don't like about this. This is so comfortable. This bra also has that flexible boning in the side. So it just gives you the added support, but there's no underwire and it goes all the way up to my armpit. So it doesn't squeeze out that armpit fat on the side. I mean, it really goes all the way up, but it's comfortable. It's not like it irritates that area because the material is just so soft and like pliable. I really, I love this bra. Here's a close up of the bra with one of the shapewears. And you can see I'm still struggling with the back fat squeezing out the top. So it really doesn't hide the back fat. You would need something else for that. If you want to try Honey Love, they have some really great resources to help you find the right fit and like the right item for you. So you can measure yourself or you can book a consultation and talk through your needs with one of their fit experts. They basically give you style recommendations and also provide tailored sizes so you can find the perfect match for you and what you need. And yeah, that's my Honey Love review. If you've tried them, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts. And 
Also, if you've had a botched lipo or just a really bad experience with lipo, I'm also curious about that. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this review, please give it a thumbs up. It means a lot to me to know that you guys enjoy the content I'm creating, and also subscribe to my channel if you like content like this or beauty content. I would love to see you next time.